going to be showing you some basic editing tools in ScreenFlow 3. This ScreenFlow tutorial is brought to you by Alpine Cigarettes. So as you can see, I have a webcam video and a screen recording already in my timeline. To turn your articles into videos, and we can start with that video, and we can start with that very... So as you can see there, Marty stumbled on his words. Now there are two ways that you can edit this out. So I'm going to zoom in, place the playhead where I want it, and I'm going to select the clip, and on my keyboard I'm going to hit Shift Command T. Now I want to take a couple seconds out of the middle of a clip, so I simply make a second cut here, and then I just hit delete. And as a new feature in ScreenFlow 3, you can right click and select close gap. And we can start right here, which is Another way you can cut your clips is by using in and out markers. So place the playhead where you want it and hit I on your keyboard. So by default, the out point goes right to the end of your video. But you can select a new point by repositioning your playhead and hitting O on your keyboard. Selecting Command Delete after that will delete it and automatically close the gap. Keep in mind though that when you're using in and out markers, any tracks above and below the track you're cutting will be cut too. And now a word from our sponsor. Another useful technique in ScreenFlow is adding transitions. You can drag two clips together and create a cross dissolve. Or you can right click on a clip and select add starting transition or add ending transition. Now by default, ScreenFlow will give you a basic dissolve, but you can change that by right clicking on the transition you've just added. And as you can see, there are many other options. You can also create your own transition in ScreenFlow by adding a video action to the end of your clip. So under Video Properties, select Add Video Action. This option gives you a lot more choice. So I'm going to have this clip scale large, rotate, and I'm going to drop the opacity. So that's all for today. To learn more about using video and audio actions effectively in ScreenFlow, check out the links below.